Juno, a different kind of boat being docked along the Ohio River right now. Actually, a couple of them, replicas of the ships that brought Christopher Columbus to America. And Local 12 Sydney Benter takes us on a tour. If you're driving across the Big Mac Bridge or walking across the Purple People Bridge over the next 10 days, you'll likely do a double take. That's because a couple pieces of floating history are docked here along the Ohio. The replicas of the Nina and the Pinta. And the crew says if Christopher Columbus himself saw them, he'd think they were his own. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Now replicas of his ships are sailing the Ohio. The Nina is the most exact replica of Columbus's favorite ship that exists. Visitors are usually surprised by how small the vessels are. But the Pinta replica is actually built to be quite a bit larger than its namesake. In their prime, a crew of about 24 people would have piled aboard the ships. Now you can do the same. When they come aboard here, they're seeing and getting a feel for exactly what the explorers uh, endured in the whole age of exploration. An interesting tidbit is that the crew actually stays on board the vessel as it travels across the country. It's a bit more modern below deck than it is above. Usually they have access to power and they can turn on the AC. Not the case in Newport, though, so it's a bit more authentic below deck during their stay here. Reporting from the Pinta in Newport, words I'd never thought I'd say. Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. <laughs> the ships are docked near the beer cellar uh, uh, until... September 20th, so you can get a chance to see it. You'll find the hours, the ticket information, local12.com. You can get it under that Get It button. That's awesome. They have a Santa Maria replica docked in Columbus, so you can go visit I that too if you want to drive. See, I'm really into boats. <laughs>